welcome to Brave Little Book's first ever review review that is a review of reviews. This is, what is this? This is, this is Let the Great World Spin. This year I read and reviewed for you 32 novels, 11 collections of poetry, and 5 collections of short stories. This is Wind Eye by Brian Evanson. This is Bewilderment. This is The Last Warner Woman from Coffeehouse Press. This is A Partial History of Lost Causes by Jennifer Dubois. This is Everyday People by Albert Goldbarth. This is Bed, the debut novel from David Whitehouse. This is The Tree of Codes by Jonathan Safran Foer. But I don't want this review review to be all self-congratulatory. Instead, I was hoping to look back at all these books and be able to say something about contemporary literature. That everything I read and reviewed this past year for you, and that you watched and listened to, would be able to tell us something about who we are, and about the place and time in which we live, what it means to be a reader here and now. But of course, I can't really do that because I'm biased. I picked out the books, and I chose what to talk about, which means all I can really tell you about is a history of this blog. What are you? So, according to my tag cloud, Brave Little Books is most concerned with the apocalypse, very appropriate, awkwardness, death, knowledge, language, loneliness, power, perspectives, frames, violence, and the supernatural about man and nature, and also the nature of man. It's about the relationship between creation and destruction. Dead women, lost women, women left at the altar, all of these are revisited here. It's just how funny it is the way people come together, or drift apart depending on the situation. Soul searching in an uncertain world. The end of the world? Violence, power, and control over cultural media. Like, just because you're good at manipulation doesn't mean you should use it on everyone, because then you might never get the opportunity to truly connect with anyone at all. But it's the principle of the thing. It's a symbol. What do you all care about? The most viewed page on my blog was a review of Open City by Tehu Cole. Maybe it's because it's the kind of book on which you're going to want to compare notes. And the most popular review on my YouTube channel was The Fifty Year Sword, another book that's difficult to define. I called it a novel, but you might want to call it a prose poem instead. So I guess you liked books where you have to work a little harder to figure out what's going on. Or maybe it's just that these books surprised you in a way that feels fresh and new. My favorite books are also ones that surprise me. So come on, 2013. Surprise us. Thank you for watching. Brave Little Books. Brave Little Books. Brave Little Books. Brave Little Books. This is Brave Little Books.